Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the Eternal Castle. So, bad news, I just tried, I, I wasn't actually counting, but like easily two dozen times to get this fragment, just, uh, just so that you wouldn't all have to watch me die over and over again. Uh, and as far as I can tell, there's, I cannot, I cannot figure out a way to do it. Uh, every, every kind of dropping down the shaft here gets you killed immediately upon landing, except for this. Which gets you killed, like, a half a second after landing, maybe. That was the best I could do. I could be down there and alive for half a second. I don't know what the fragments actually do, um, if they're actually going to be important, if whatever they do requires you to get all of them, which I certainly haven't, right? We've definitely missed some. Uh, I just haven't been looking that hard. So basically, I'm not going to stress too much more about it. I mean, if we're, we're not going to get whatever it is that you get for them, probably. It's fun to search for and pick up collectibles, but um, I'm not going to spend any more time on that one in particular. So what have we here? That could be some kind of trap. Maybe we shouldn't touch the, the bar there. It could also just be like a plank. Ooh, okay. Very nearly screwed that up. Oh! Well, that's interesting. What is that supposed to be? I'm not even 100% clear on what we're... That, the big oval there is a screen, I think? This is like some big computer, right? Because there's like... All the blue stuff below that is the part of it that you would interact with. Hold on. Let's, um... This, this hole is pretty... No, you know what? It's a big hole. Either we'll die or there'll be a fragment down there. And either way, I don't want to spend the time. Let's figure out what this is. Carved on the stone, it translates, you are dreaming. Well, that is certainly, uh, certainly possible. Not entirely out of line with our observations, right? Where am I? What am I? Oh, dear. Okay, well, why don't we just go under, then? Ah, I see. That's why we don't just go under, because there's a big thing in the way. Okay, we're just gonna have to time it. I mean, it looks pretty generous. Yeah, that's, that's not really that hard. It's ominous, it's not really that dangerous. Nope, go up the... I do feel like I'm fighting with the character constantly. Oh wow, I can just barely understand what is even happening here. Okay, that is... it's true, those are spikes. I was not really looking below us. How far back is it gonna... okay, this isn't too bad. It really does seem to me like they want you to die a lot. I'm assuming that's why the checkpoints are the way they are. Is they, they don't intend you to actually be able to navigate the obstacles on your first try. I maybe started a little early there, that could have been dangerous. So basically what I'm saying is, here's why I'm not going to feel too bad about all of the uh, horrible deaths. Okay, I can't tell where I am in the Z-axis relative to those gears. I'm hoping I can just climb down safely here. Ow. Okay, step close. Just to make sure that Oh, wow. I tapped it down and he just like, completely teleported there. Alright. Another fragment. You know, sometimes they're easy enough to get that I don't feel bad about it. I'm pretty curious about that. Is that a human skeleton wearing, like, a little hat? And also it has something valuable? I'm assuming that, um... Oh, we can climb up here. Can I jump off of this? I can. I'm assuming that whatever that is that looks like rain is just gonna kill us, but let's... Let's try it and find out. Oh no, it totally isn't. Okay. I didn't really... Ooh, I could have started that a little bit earlier. Backpack for extra ammo. Alright, that seems useful. Is this... Can I climb out here? Nope. It's a light source, not a, uh, not a hole in the ceiling. Quickly... yeah. Easy. Okay, well, we have not really had problems related to having more ammo than we can carry around, but who knows? Maybe we will eventually. 
There is a section of the game world that is labeled the ranged combat section, remember? So I'm assuming that uh, maybe this will be useful there. I didn't need to... Okay. That one gives you enough uh, gives you enough leeway that even though I absolutely was not trying to roll, I was trying to just crouch and then move forward, uh, we still had enough time to get through there. Whew. All right. Constantly stressful. Huh. I'm just trying to climb up here. This is remarkably difficult. So that is obviously an interactable, and it looks somewhat important. I wonder why they even make you do this. With these, especially with these particular blades being so slow and everything, it doesn't seem like going up there to hit that actually adds a lot of danger or anything. It's like a weird little detour that you have to take to get through the room. Really? You can't just you can't just crouch down when I hit down? Oh jeez. Oh jeez! Okay, that's worse. That's worse than the thing I was experiencing over here. Is it gonna fall in that pit? No, it's too big. It's gonna get over the pit. I'm just kind of like mashing up. It's gonna make me jump, right? You may as well be jumping already. Although I suppose I could end up just jumping straight into a pit. Forward, forward! Oh. You, um, in much the same way that you have to hit up, like, five steps before you want to jump in order to perform the long jump, uh, you also have to hit down considerably before you want to actually be rolling in order to roll. Like, I just hit down. Yeah, there it is. There's a little bit of delay on my voice. That's probably not gonna... As a result of some processing I'm doing on my audio to remove noise. So I guess that gap is not gonna look as big as it actually is, and I don't really have a way of correcting for it. But just trust me, it feels like maybe over a whole second uh, early that you have to hit it. And in this case, it's a little tricky to do because they really are not giving me a lot of room to see what's ahead of me. Actually, I wonder if I could just hang on one of those pits. So you, you dive very easily if you don't jump when you need to jump because the animation for like falling and then frustrating the animation for falling and then holding the ledge uh, is so long before you're able to crawl back up but you have no way of seeing what's ahead of you it's like it, do it definitely doesn't I hit okay let me let this run again I hit down when I was about here. There. Uh, that's about how early you have to do it. Yeah, you can't really see what's ahead of you because the camera is obsessed with showing you the rock, even though it doesn't really help for you to be able to see the rock. And you have to you have to hit jump so early in order to jump early. And like if you're at the edge of the screen like that, it just doesn't it doesn't let you jump at all. This sequence kind of sucks. The controls for this game are not made for this for this sequence to be in this game. <laughs> okay, you know what will be a good demonstration of it? I'm gonna hit down. Hold on, let me let me position here. I'm gonna hit down as soon as I hit the left edge of that little blue bit there. So that's how much distance you need in order to execute a roll. It's a significant portion of a screen. And so you have to be ex you have to execute a full sprinting run over these in order or a full sprinting jump over these in order to actually make it over. You must just be supposed to like hang somewhere and uh, and get past it that way cuz actually having it chase you you'd have to you'd have to just memorize where the holes are after you have died horribly to it. So yeah, maybe, maybe we could just hang off the pits. Crush our fingers, I guess, but... I, I was trying to make it back. I totally did make it back underneath. I died behind it. I figured maybe we'd just follow it down the slope. That would be easier.
Yeah, that's that's really crummy, uh, mostly due to the interaction of the, the screen edge and the movement system that requires you to do everything considerably before you want it to happen. If we can jump here, let's see, if we get all the way to the front edge of the screen, then I stop having the ability to execute jumps. Because he starts doing that hop thing. No, jump! Jump! What? <sighs> I hit down a little early, because I didn't remember how many pits there were, and then <laughs> the second I hit down, it was completely unrecoverable. Now, I'll admit, I have not played the Delphine software games in a long time. So it could be that it feels like this because this is how it was. And I've, I've never played the original Prince of Persia. I just, you know... Gamer cultural osmosis. I know what it is and what it looked like and how it, how it controlled. I think that's... The worst part of this is definitely the... Um, Oof, okay, made it that time. The worst part is definitely the when you get to the right edge of the screen and he just starts hopping. To be clear, I wasn't even trying to jump when he's doing that. It's just an element of him hitting the screen and kind of stopping, but then the screen moving and all of a sudden he's a little further to the right and doesn't have ground underneath him. Oof, hopefully we got a checkpoint there. Is this, this is a door? Yes, okay. Basically, what I'm what I'm doing is I'm trying to concoct a good excuse for the, for the game to control this way. Oh, apparently you don't actually have to get that close to the meditation stone to meditate at it. it. Looks like we could maybe just climb right. No, we cannot. In fact, just climb right out of here. I would like to climb down, please. There we go. I just climb down here. I mean, obviously there's very little to lose at this point. Uh, not only can I climb down here, I think it's pretty obvious this is what I was supposed to do. But I'm concerned about that. Is that a demon? Is that a demon in the background? It sure seems like one. I'm gonna maybe be over- ow. Yeah, how do you like that? Not actually that tough, this. It, it's probably just a person wearing a big, a big fancy martial arts hat. Oh, he's got friends. Okay, but he can hit them too. Yeah, come over here. I just killed your demon. Come here and come here and get some of this big, huge mace. All right, what am I getting? Can I please pick the thing up? What is what is the thing? I have I have to hit up to pick up that thing that is on the ground. Oh, I was temporarily vaporized. A little bit of teleportation sickness. You know how it is. Okay, everything's fine. I did something. Did I get a part? Uh, that was a part that I needed for my ship, I guess. Okay, well, hey, congratulations. We have we have completed one third of our available destinations for now. So, what do we think? The unholy church with low visibility, or the forgotten city with the ranged combat? Now that we have our extra ammo backpack, we might be better at the forgotten city. Let's uh, let's try it. Let's do this next. Boy, that does a really good job of communicating how unpleasantly hot it must be here. Alright, I'm gonna trust the descriptor and take this gun over my extremely good mace. We've had a lot of good times there, Macy. But now is the time for shooting, man. Okay, so he, um, he has a little bit of correction on his aim. Like, I shot at that guy who was crouching while I was standing up. And the character automatically aimed down a little bit. Ooh, can I take his ammo too? Nice. Well, we have a ton of bullets now. I'm going to enter every screen and immediately hit the uh, pull out your gun button. Except in cases where I am jumping as I leave the screen because I think the screen border is the thing I have to climb over. In those cases, I will not do it. Does it, it looks like the thing on the left there, right? It looks a little bit like something you have to climb over. Again, I am... I can't... 
the game area, the game world not actually logically being divided into screens so that things like that can happen where uh, it moves me into the next area and the enemies can shoot at me without actually moving the camera totally sucks. It sucks that that can happen. Things here look, um, honestly, even worse than they were before. I've been pushed backwards through the screen border by getting shot, I assume? That was a little frustrating, because they can, they can still shoot me. So, our shots kind of go all over the place. Character is not super accurate. I wonder... Okay, so if I do this and hold up, you see how he kind of, like, locks it in? I think we have to do that for good accuracy. And for some reason, last time, this guy didn't have a gun. So lock it in, then fire. Alright, I'm ready. We all out of health this time. Alright, so this is a problem. I did not mean to try to climb over that. I just hit up to uh, to get out of the crouch, and he immediately climbed over the wall instead. Don't hit up to get out of the crouch, just stop holding down, right? Yeah, okay. That one's on me. So it looks like we're at some kind of construction site. There's a lot of wheelbarrows full of stuff. You're just going to stay low, make it to cover. This is not ideal. Because <laughs> obviously when we pop up, it's going to be real bad. Okay, I can, I can fire at them while remaining low and still be able to hit them. And they can do the same to me, so cover is not perfect. You know, I don't know how much ammo we were able to hold before. I don't know how effective this backpack is really being. But it feels good to be able to hold this many bullets. It feels like um, I have some I have some room to screw up and still be able to recover here. Ooh, those guys have bigger guns. Are those... What is happening down there? Are those... Is that like a, a big mass of people with their hands up? I wish I had like a grenade or something. Alright, we're gonna jump over them and dramatically roll into... This is gonna be some like John Woo stuff here. We're gonna dramatically roll into holding our gun and we're just gonna let these guys have it. Okay. Hey everybody. I saved a couple of you. Y'all don't need this rifle, right? I'm just going to take this, if you don't mind. That feels like the way to go. Oh, they're following. We're friends now. I guess that makes sense. If I had executed that more cleanly, I'm sure I could have saved more of them. Okay, this gun is extremely effective. Really very good. Are you... Y'all have blinky heads. Are these robots? These might be robots. I don't know for sure that I'm not a robot, actually. Right, we talk about scavenger units being sent into the city. I just kind of assumed, because of the weird way the text is written, that that referred to people. Well, you know what I mean. Human people. Living people. But maybe it meant robots? So these guys just have pistols. I don't want their pistols. I want my ridiculous gun. Ooh, but I do want that. Hold on, we gotta climb up here. There's a thing up above us that I imagine is meant to be... Really, guy, you can't just jump for me. Look at that. They figured it out. Oh, and I have forced them to fall to their deaths, <laughs> apparently. Well, that doesn't feel great. Who would have thought that would be the result there? Got that. What is this? These are grenades. Ooh. But you can't carry grenades and a gun. I mean... I think we're going to take the gun. I'm just kind of curious. 
Okay, it takes these a long time to go off. We're gonna keep the gun. No, I'm gonna try the grenades. Let's let's give them a shot. Worst case scenario, we die and we come back here and fix it, right? Okay, that's like a, an actual solid thing there. I kicked that guy into the grenade. That was something. You are so clumsy in this game. Like, a grenade would have been really useful in a situation like the pit with all those people in it. Alright, we're going to save more of them this time and we're not going to make anybody fall to their deaths. Not really what I was planning to do, but okay, I kick them to death. So we'll take this thing. The other guy had one too, right? Can I... Nope. Okay, everybody, you're free. High fives. High fives for everybody. They're pretty tall, so I had to jump up to really give them the, the high five. For a second there, I thought one of them threw a punch. Is this guy different? Oh, no, okay. I, I, thought that, I thought one of them was just standing in the corner and had, like, a weird red blink in addition to the blue blink. Oh wow, they were ready to run over there and just murk those dudes. Okay, robot friends, would you like to perhaps go forth and again, kick some dudes out? No, it seems like mostly what they do is wander forward and get murdered themselves. I have six shots left, I'm gonna hold on to the rifle. Okay, see this right here, just take it. I don't want to see this thing anymore. I don't want to see what thing anymore. Oh, the fragment. Or maybe this? Is this? Oh, this is a larger type of gun. I'm going to assume... Oh, I just got a Steam, a Steam Achievement titled Shotgun, so that's probably what it is, huh? Okay, I feel good about that. It's a video game, so you know the rules. The gun, the shotgun must be the best gun. I'm trying to think of... There's a statue down there. I'm trying to think of a video game where that wasn't the case. Alright, this area definitely... Um, definitely isn't as harrowing as the last one. And there's a lot of gunfights, but some... Something about the constant invisible traps was, um, if not necessarily more lethal than the guns, at least more terrifying. Surprise! Wow, that lit that dude all the way up. It's weird how sometimes the fragments are just kind of sitting in the open. And I think we've lost our robot. That's probably for the best. We don't actually want those guys following us around. Kick open the door and just be like, BAM! Ow. Okay, so they also have shotguns. They're also very effective. What is up here? In case you're wondering, no. You cannot aim the gun while climbing off a thing. Okay, that works. I wonder if this guy is going to... I was gonna climb up here and kick his ass. No sense in spending ammo. Okay. He had a pistol, it looked like. I don't really care about that. So, I can walk on this? Alright. But it looks like it will break. That's actually a fine way to get over here. Then these dudes had shotguns, so we can ammo up a little bit more. I'm going to assume that's a death pit over there. We're just not even going to test it. Oh, that guy... <clears throat> Sorry, that's my bad. It was a reflex. You know, it's like a sneeze. Some people sneeze. Other people uh, suddenly reflexively fire shotguns in random directions. Certainly not at their friends. Legends tell that if you meditate while dreaming, you can predict the future. 
Is that true? Okay, he's trying to give us an in-game explanation for why we seem to die and suddenly come back all the time. I can't tell if that's a fragment at the bottom of that chair, if it's just one of their blinky lights. It's easy to be corrupted and become your opponent. Our dictator grabbed a glider and he's keeping it all for himself. Okay, it was a fragment. But what does the thing about the glider have to do with your opponent? We track our allies with a light blue head chip. This will protect us from the neurowave attacks. Oh. Should I have one of those? I don't have one of those. Do I need to be worried about the neurowave? Is this going to be like the end of Dollhouse? I'm back, and I'll try to tell you what happened. Uh, when? Come back when, and also try to tell me what happened when. Nope, not what I wanted. Ah, uh, the controls. Okay, the good news is... We saved on that screen. I was just trying to get up to this guy, because he has a fragment. I miss the woods. One day I'll leave this boring town. Is that what this town is? I'll say I've been a lot of things since I got here, but not really bored so much. Mostly shot. Most of the things I have been is shot. I just learned that I can carry up to two weapons. Imagine the possibilities. Oh, that's right, there is a weapon switch. But if you don't... What was it? Here we go. Switch weapon is tab. So it's weird that it doesn't let you just pick up a second weapon. You have to switch to the empty weapon slot and then pick it up. We could have held on to our mace. Man... Now I feel dumb, especially since we had seen those controls already. So these people in the back, they don't have glowy blue head chips, it looks like. I don't really know what to expect here. This is definitely worrying. Stay low and stick with the allies. They're killing us down there. I believe you. <laughs> this sounds like they are killing us. That, sorry, that's definitely not shooting at you. I guess we're going to have to go over. Okay, these guys are cool. So the, the people with the blue flashing things in their heads are friends. We do not have to worry about that. I'm trying to stay low behind the cover in case something pops up, but also, like, it's... A little tedious to climb over the cover from a crouching state. The animation takes a lot longer than I would like. Those guys do not have flashy blue heads. Okay, firing just over the cover seems pretty effective. I was a little worried that we might not actually be able to hit with a shotgun like this, but it's totally... It's totally killing the hell out of Nope, we did not get him. It sucks that you can be shot by people from off-screen. Ah, uh, reload, reload, reload! Okay, that went alright. So we want to tab to switch to our empty hand, and pick up the rifle. Hey man, how you doing? Nope, that's not quite... I didn't hit that quite as early as I meant to. It's fine. That's fine. I will just hang out here for a moment and let the soothing sounds of gunfire whisk us away to a more peaceful place. There was a fragment up there, and I would love to get it if we can. But I think probably that drop was too far for us to climb back up. get up if we stick to the wall here. No, in fact, I can't really even stick to the wall here. It's nice of this guy to come down here and show us that there was a, uh, a tunnel here, because that's not obvious. Ah, uh, we could probably climb up this. Yeah, this is how we get that right. 
it would also be how we deal with these dudes up here. Oh, I only have one shotgun shot left. Ow. Pretty good at um, fist fighting, but it's a little harder when the opponent has guns. These die. These dudes are tough, actually. Fortunately, one of them seems to be having some kind of a fit in the corner there. Not really contributing. Okay. Not as easy to go up there and take their ammunition from them as I was hoping. That's really what I was going for. Maybe I should just ignore them? I mean, they have two rifles. They've got to have more ammo than they currently have. Maybe I just go ahead and use that little rifle I know we have on this. going on? What is going on with the controls right now? I've picked up a headband for extra strength. It has actually made me super good at fighting these guys. I am a little concerned that he is going to hit me eventually. Okay, they can eventually be killed by damage. It just takes a while. Let's wait till that guy reloads again, and we're going to rush him. No, I, I didn't really rush him so much as... Wait, what happened? Uh... I'm not 100% clear on where I... Oh, we're seeing a cutscene of a sniper in a building somewhere. A sniper deer, an item of some kind, something we want. So we're gonna get sniped at. You can just hold on a second, I'm not... Where am I even? Okay, I'm here now. Hold on, I want to go back. I wasn't done with that area. There's a fr Boy, it just has decided that we're moving forward? Not really asking my opinion on the matter? Alright, well, we're basically out of shotgun ammo, so as much as I hate to trade out the shotgun... Nope, it traded out my rifle, even though... I Didn't I have the shotgun equipped? Hmm. Oh, this is a thing I have to climb over. I'm just going to keep moving. No, I'm not going to keep moving. Apparently. I'm trying to keep moving. The controls are, you know, the controls. I'm assuming that's, that's the sniper's laser sight, right? But it seems to just... It doesn't actually seem to be harming me. But he's not shooting. So I guess I don't care about the sniper's laser sight. Not actually a danger to us. Don't come over here. You're going to get killed. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my whole deal, man. Uh, also, I don't know how to get over there. I'm down here. Okay. Well, I'm pretty bummed out about not getting to get that fragment on account of being uh, moved into this other segment unreturnably against my will. But I'm glad we at least managed to get the headband first. Uh, this headband would probably have been really useful in that other area that we were just in. So no matter what er no matter what order you tackle these in, you get things that will feed into uh, the other areas. That's kind of nice. All right. Not to leave you all in suspense about what's going to happen with this sniper, but I think we've played enough for today. That is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time on Monday to see how we deal with this sniper, if we can ride you our way through this war zone. And we'll see you then.